Hey everyone, it's Lauren with Love You Tomorrow, and today I'm going to be talking about two of the most popular online wedding registries, Zola and The Knot. Zola is all about convenience. It's kind of an all-in-one registry and wedding planner. Um, you can use it to create a wedding website, you can manage your guest list and your vendors, you can even order invitations, and of course you can set up a registry. Once you create a registry on Zola's website, they'll ask you a series of questions including um, how many guests you're inviting to your wedding and um, some activities that you and your fiancé like to do together so that they can help you customize your registry to fit your individual lifestyle and your wedding. One of my favorite features of the Zola um, registry are their cash funds. They allow your guests to uh, contribute to experiences on your honeymoon rather than buy you a set of fancy towels that you're probably never going to use. Um, they also have an experiences feature that you can break down by city. It's just another way um, to of catering towards you know couples who maybe already live together or even own a home together and don't necessarily need a whole bunch of stuff as a wedding gift the knot is a huge company and one of the most well-known names in wedding information and services um, on their website you can link up with vendors you can create your own custom website and you can shop for supplies i really like some of their planning tools that they offer um, their checklists are great and i love their budgeting tool um, but today we're going to talk about registries i really love their cash fund features um, and they partner with a lot of major companies. So if you register with a company like Crate and Barrel, you can link it right to your Knot registry. Both of these sites offer a lot of the same things. Um, you can link your, you know, your gift registry. You can start a cash fund or an experiences fund. Um, they both offer a lot of tools to help you plan your wedding. Of the two, I kind of prefer Zola. I just like the interface a little bit more. I think it's a little more user-friendly, it's super flexible, really, really easy to use. Um, but either way, I would definitely recommend a tool like these two sites. Um, it'll save you a lot of time, helps you, you know, stay organized, and lets you focus on the fun stuff.